Lord is a strong tower. The hand of the Lord is able. The joy of the Lord is our strength, and the zeal of the Lord shall perform it. God bless you, gifted platform listener. There is too much help in God to fear anything. We are so glad you are part of the gifted family. God's word is so dependable, and so we have made it our goal and purpose to make it not only available to you, but also as practical as possible. Please stay safe. The next voice you will hear after this will be Pastor Kwame bringing you the word of God. My name is Stephanie. Shalom to you and your family. Praise be to God. We thank God for another week. This is the week the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the hour the Lord has made. This is the minute and the second the Lord has made. And we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. I salute you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm glad to always get this chance to chit chat and share the word of God with you. The flower fades, the leaves wither, and the word abide forever. And so that's our job here to make it as practical as possible and to push in your direction faith and some encouragement that will cause you to stay strong in God and also get the victory over the enemy in Jesus mighty name amen um we we will we will overcome just just trust me i want to spend some time with you in the word of God and and encourage your heart on something that the lord want me to share with you so i'm taking my assignment from the gospel according to saint john john chapter 9 the verse number 3 the book of john chapter 9 verse 3 the scripture says it was not because of his sins or his parents sins jesus answered this happened so the power of god could be seen in him it was not because of his sins or his parents sins jesus answered this happened so the power of god could be seen in him I'm going to talk about a lot of different things, but if you need a title, I just want to tell you that God will help you. Amen. God will help you. Amen. May God bless his word in Jesus' name. Um, the gospel according to St. John is the favorite of most theologians because it's very deep. All the Gospels begins by talking about the physical life of Jesus Christ. But the Gospel according to St. John starts with, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. And so John brings a, a, a little bit of spiritual approach to the Gospels. And he brings what I call more of the um, the divinity of Jesus Christ right from the, off the bat to just show the listeners that he is talking about God in the flesh amen so john is a unique book so most theologians love it and if you take a bigger look at the book of john everything john writes is for a purpose john was trying to paint a picture so everything john would say was specifically for a purpose so in john chapter 9 we come across the famous scripture where a man was born blind and the disciples approached the man and luckily is is a good thing when you are walking with your teacher and the questions appear in real life you know so they were glad that they met a man who was born blind and jesus was also watching the man so scripture says now the disciples turned to jesus and said that we have a situation here this man was born blind is it because his father has sinned or his mother has sinned and the disciples mind you were interpreting the situation based on the old testament because the old testament most likely your sins were connected to your sickness and so they thought that was what was happening so i want you to right away um pause here with me and let's analyze it uh the first i want you to understand is that life happens at many levels but the life you experience is based on the level you are at if you take jesus out of the picture you have the disciples and you have the man that was born blind and if you take just these two people in question you realize that they will go home with the understanding that either the man is is a sinner or his parents have sinned that is why he was born blind that is the message that they will carry and you realize that the level that they are dealing with this problem is the level that they can reason at so the first thing i want you to understand is that what you are going through the things that are difficult for you the things that doesn't make sense in your life they don't make sense because of your level praise god 
Are you hearing me? The problems you are going through is because of your level. That is why I came to tell you that God will help you. Amen. And so life happens at levels. Uh, let me let me tell you my Pembroke College experience. Uh, so <laughs> I was a math science student. And um, when there's a question on the blackboard for you to solve, you can only approach the question at your level. Therefore, there were kids that were smarter than the others. So when you notice that the people who know what they were doing, they are approaching the same question at a particular level. Let me not even go there. You've watched the science and math quiz, the problem of the day. I'm speaking to those who are not from Africa. You might not understand what I'm saying. But basically, when there's a question on the table, the reason why some people get 100%, some people get 80%, some people get 30% is because the level with which you approach the question is what determines the problem you are dealing with. Are you hearing me? So disciples now, they are at a level where they see the man's blindness as an issue that the only way to solve it is to assume that probably the mother has sinned or the father has sinned. Nothing more, nothing less. Amen. And so now let's introduce Jesus back into the equation. Now Jesus comes in and brings a new level of the game. And Jesus says, no, this issue, when you look at it from my level, his father has not sinned, his mother has not sinned. It happened so that the glory of God should be seen. And so there's a whole new level to the situation. Are you hearing me? Now, so... The first thing I want you to understand, therefore, is that your level determines your approach. Your level determines your solution. Your level determines your victory. And I want you to know that no matter what, God's level is higher than our level. So God has to help us. Amen. All right, let me continue. So Jesus now says to them that it is not for their sins. It is because of the the, the reason is not right. You are thinking that it is because of his sins that he was born blind. But Jesus says, no, the reason he was born blind is because of the power of God. Now I'm going to bring you my message for today. Um, So the reason there's problems in your life is because of the power of God. The reason there is problem in my life is because of the power of God. Of God the reason this problem in this world is because of the power of God there is a law called the law of balance now the the general understanding of balance is wisdom wisdom is the ability to work in balance anybody that does too much of everything is not wise so wisdom is the ability to put enough things in the equation so you are always in the balanced place because balance is the key to wisdom not too much not too little just the right amount not too much love not too much hate just the right amount not too much spoiling not too much correction just the right amount not too much holiness just the right amount not too much criticism just the right amount not too much you got my point now not too much of everything you got to balance it preach love preach correction preach everything in a balance praise god now that balance is not what i'm talking about there's another balance that control the entire universe which is called the law of balance now the law of balance now uh states that because there is what it takes to balance the problem, the problem is allowed to exist. Now hear me closely. My first preaching uh, during the corona pandemic was this message that anytime you see a problem, remember the law of balance. God will never allow anything to happen if the power to handle it doesn't exist first. Are you hearing me? God will not allow, oh, glory to Jesus. Let me teach. Bible says that war unto the, I don't know whether it's war or woe, but say woe to the inhabitants of the earth for the enemy I have thrown down. He's coming with the wrath, knowing that he has a short time. The only reason why the devil was cast down to earth is because the lamp of God was slain before the foundations of the earth. So the law of balance states that nothing evil can happen unless what it takes to cure the evil already exists. That's why I told people that it's impossible 
for corona to exist if what it takes to cure corona doesn't exist and so jesus said to the people that there's something called the power of god that is already in the system that is why somebody is allowed to be born blind ladies and gentlemen i want you to hear me out you will not believe me but believe me there is no problem in your life that cannot be solved but I told you that you can't solve all problems at your own level. That is why I come to remind that God will help you. But I want you to know that every problem you have has an answer due to the law of balance. But the problem is that some people die with their problem because problems are solved at levels. Hear me? Problems are solved at levels. The reason we are dealing with death toll is because the level to cure corona we are not there you follow but the fact that we are not there doesn't mean corona cannot be cured because if it cannot be cured it is violation of the law of balance and it can never happen now let me scare you a little more when you go to physics physics is what explains the physical dimension of this world physician i mean i said physician those who are physicists they know that there are about four equations four simple equations that explains why there's life only on earth and life if you play with the equation a little bit and you mess it up life on earth cannot happen we are sitting on a small pin of equation that proves that life exists on earth and this are, that those are the perfect equations that captures reality and the point i'm making with that is the fact that this there's a formula to existence and one of the formula is the law of balance nothing that cannot be solved cannot happen levels now I didn't come to philosophize today's podcast. Let me practicalize it and close it. So my point is that God will help you. But keep it at the back of your mind that every problem in this world has an answer. And the answer is found at a particular level in life. So anybody that has a problem and they don't know what to do with it. It's because the level they are playing is not where the answer is. And I pray to God that God will help you so you can solve problems that you can't handle. And so Jesus said, no, there's power in God to solve those who cannot have children. That is why people have barrenness. There's power in God to solve those who have been chained to addiction. That is why addiction exists. There's power in God to deliver those who are in pain. That is why pain exists. There is power in God to turn lives around. That is why some people go down. There's power in God to lift the pull up. That's why people are down. There's power in God to break curses. That's why people are cursed. There's power in God to make the poor come up. That's why some are poor. So every problem you see, there is power in God to solve it. And I don't know the problem you are dealing with, but I came to let you know that by the word of God and by the calling on my life and by the fact that I am here to serve as a man of God, I declare that may help come and lift you from your level of problem and give you solutions. May you receive strength for the problem you are dealing with. Some of you are dealing with all kinds of problems. And one of the one of the secrets that is killing our generation is because of social media because of social media you have to look like you don't have a problem even when you have a problem because now everybody is watching your story everybody watching your wall so you have to post like you don't have a problem but you know you have a problem but i came to let you understand that oh god oh god god is able to solve your problems at the level of god there is no problem when you climb up to so so when i want you to grow in the lord i'm not trying to harass your life when I challenge you to put away all worldly things and focus on God and fast and pray, I'm not trying to bother you. I'm just trying to change your level. Because your level determines your solution. It's the same thing financially. Your financial level determines what you can afford. There are some sicknesses that can kill the poor, but it won't kill the rich because of financial level. 
Are you understanding me? So spiritual level is everything. The disciples were at one level. Let me close with this example. The Bible says a person came to Jesus and then he said to Jesus, I brought my son for your people to do something. But your people know they do. Every time they try, it looks like my the sickness that is bothering my son is stronger than the level your disciples are operating. And so what do I do? And Jesus said, now I come with another level. And he cast that demon out. And the disciples went to Jesus and said, how come we couldn't do this at our level? And Jesus said that your level was smaller than the demon. I came to let you understand the problem in your marriage, the problem with your children, the problem with your finances, the problem with your life, the problem with that chronic sickness, the problem with these setbacks is because the problem you are dealing with is bigger than the level you are but i come with a word of hope to you that jesus will help you and bring you to a place where you have enough strength to handle your problem there is no problem that cannot be solved because a problem that cannot be solved is a violation of the law of balance and the law, the law of balance states that every problem cannot exist unless a solution already exists Amen. And so I just want you to remind you on that case so you will encourage yourself and then you begin to receive the help I'm bringing you today that God will help you. Keep that in mind that God will help you and solve all your problems. So keep talking to God, keep reciting faith and keep believing. Let me release some prayer over you for those who are dealing with current problems current situations spirit of the living god you said for your word for this reason the son of man was manifested to destroy the works of the enemy i destroy the plans and the attacks and the activity of the enemy concerning your people I bring you help, child of God. I bring you help at a new level. Receive strength right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 